What's up guys, we are here again. Welcome to Merch Design Academy. It is back and I'm bringing you guys a brand new episode. In this episode, we're going to be designing a couple t-shirts and this is a complete beginner guide, okay? So if you have no experience designing t-shirts, this video is for you and I'm so excited to teach you guys today. And this is the start of something great, guys. I really think this channel has potential. So make sure you tell all of your friends, subscribe, leave a comment, be super interactive, guys. Let's build this merch design community up. But uh, with that being said, we are going to be using Adobe Photoshop today to design something. And uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a free design resource website that we're gonna be uh, going to. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can download some graphic graphical assets that you can use with your merch. Um, if you're a beginner, you most likely don't know how to illustrate stuff and draw. So no worries, no skills in that department required. So I'm in Photoshop and I wanna click new file on the top left side, right under the Photoshop logo. And this is where we are going to define our, our template essentially, our document size and all that stuff, right? So I already made a template under saved. You can see that I have a merch design template and it's 15 by 18 inches at 300 resolution. And I recommend you guys go over here where the preset details are and do the same thing. Type in merch design, just like this, merch design, go to inches from pixels and just make sure it's 15 by 18, 300 resolution. And then you wanna make sure the color profile is something that's accurate. sRGB is pretty good, working RGB, so that's mine. And then everything else can stay the same. And pretty much that's it. So I'm gonna use my document that I already have set up. Another thing that I just created was this mock-up sheet so I can throw some designs on there and show you guys what they look like. But um, I'm, I can't give you guys these ones because I paid for them. But what I will do is give you guys a free a coupon code to use on my website to download one of my mockups, okay? And I will link everything in the description of this video. So you guys will get a free product just by watching and supporting this channel. And another thing that I wanna stress is like the important tools, right? The one thing that we really wanna make sure we have is obviously layers because layers is so important. We need that for everything that we do today. So layers is on the right hand side for me. You can also like change your uh, workspace setup on the top right to essentials, which is what I'm using and I highly recommend you guys use. But nonetheless, all we really need is layers and uh, properties and that's pretty much it. Everything else we can work around. Um, another thing I wanna do is probably move my webcam so it's not in the freaking way. So let me go ahead and do that real fast. <laughs> Look at that, it fits perfect. Okay, cool. So we're ready to go. Um, obviously we have a black background, so I'm designing for darker shirts, but you also wanna try to like design for lighter shirts so you can you know, change the fabric color to like red, any color you want. Don't just design for darks. Um, and also keep in mind, what are you designing for, right? So if we're designing for t-shirts, we need to kind of do something that is good for t-shirts. Um, if we are designing for, let's say, board shorts or anything else, I don't even know why I said board shorts, but like mesh shorts, if you're doing something like that, you know, you wanna design something that will look good on those. So nonetheless, um, I have all these mock-ups right here and um, I'm gonna go for a t-shirt today. So uh, next thing I need to do is go back to the internet and let's go to this website that's called publicdomainvectors.org and I found this website through another YouTuber called, uh, her name's Kel Lorne, and she's amazing. She's a, she's a phenomenal designer, uh, brilliant in so many different ways. So um, huge shout out to her, really cool resource, and um, I wanna share it with you guys as well in case you guys don't know about it. But um, nonetheless, this website is uh, obviously public, so you can use these without getting in trouble or facing any legal actions, which is great. Um, so what I wanna do is go to Vectors, and actually let's go a step further. Let's just go to the search bar and I'm gonna type in skull because I love skulls and why not? I'm gonna go to, I wanna find something that I can use. See this right here is sick. I don't know what this is, but I love it. You know what, we're gonna use this. We're gonna download this skull too. So we have like a bunch of skulls today, but uh, I'm cool with it. So this is all about just like letting your creativity flow and not overthinking things. So let's go ahead and go to the skull man baby one. I love that so much. And let's go back to Photoshop. So I have them open right here and I'm just gonna drag this in place. And as you can see, it's obviously on a black background so you're not going to see anything. So what's happening is it's blending in with our background and that is fine. So what we'll do is we can either do two different things. We can add a white background to it and like mask out things or we can just duplicate our background and invert it, Command I, and um, we can design it for a white or a lighter color shirt. All right, I'm just gonna name this background lighter color shirts just so I know, and then this will be our darker color shirts, darker shirts, so we know kind of what we're doing, right? So we can hide that bottom layer. Now we have the skull, baby, and man. 
really cool concept, honestly, and I can see us doing something really uh, interesting with this. So first thing I want to do is just kind of resize it. We're going to scale it down by pressing Command T or Control T if you're on a PC. Shift uh, shift and option or shift and alt if you're on a PC just to kind of scale it down. So I'm just using my keyboard shortcuts. That's all we're doing. Alternatively, if I press controller or command T, I can also go to the very top here on the top left and there's some transform options here, right? We have the height and the width. Everything's right there. So if I link, if I lock the height and width, what I could do is also scale it like this and it's going to stay in the center. So that's another way of doing it, which is cool. Um, what is the concept here? What are we going for? I'm probably gonna type out something like evolution and make this very messy looking, very grungy um, to really match the vibe that we're going for here. So what I'm gonna do is just start typing out some text. So I'm gonna press T on my keyboard and I'm gonna type out evolution, evolution. And I'm gonna use plain old Helvetica new on this because I really want it to just feel like it's a, you know, more vintage and we're gonna do some stuff to this to make it even look more vintage. I'm just typing out something. Evolution is what I decided on. And next thing I'm going to do is um, we're going to round the corners on the text. But first, what I want to do is make sure this text is black. I don't want to work with any color yet. And what I want to do is add a stroke around this. So I'm going to add a black stroke. We're just going to add a black stroke on the outside. I want to make this look like it's been printed and stuff like that. So that's why we're doing that. I love the Helvetica family fonts like they're just so easy to customize. So anyway, just by adding a stroke, we have these round corners. Let me zoom in to show you guys and let me take the stroke off so you can see what I just did there. It just gives it that print look, which I really love. So really nice. Um, so yeah, evolution and maybe we can like add some sort of definition at the bottom right. Let's go to Google and find a cool definition on evolution. So evolution definition. Why not? And we'll add that. So the process right there. So we're going to copy this, take away the stroke for now, because obviously we can't see anything. We're going to go a step further. Actually, what I want to do is go to my T tool, hit T on your keyboard to go to that. I'm just going to drag out a box about this big, and then we're going to paste that in place. And then we could go to the character panel up here. Let me drag that over so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I have the character panel. I'm going to go auto on that. We're going to right align it. And then I'm just going to change the font size until it's like something that we're happy with. And I don't really want this to be the condensed black. I'm going to go bold with it. And this needs to be not separated. So I'm just going to fix the alignment kind of. So I have evolution and then I have the definition down here, which is kind of cool. The process by which different kinds of living organisms are thought to have developed and diversified from earlier forms during the history of the Earth. So we have some like facts here, right? We have a definition here. Kind of cool. And this could just be like some random ass like t-shirt, you know, why not? I'm going to go command T and just make this look like a little like crooked on purpose. Why not? And then let's make it like a three stroke. That looks pretty freaking cool. What I might do is just try to make a star. So I'm actually going to go to the triangle and let's just make a star. Why not? And I don't want it to be locked on the, the width and height. So I'm just going to drag one out and hold in shift. And that's going to allow me to like transform it manually. We're just going to quickly, quickly make a star. So I'm going to duplicate this command J uh, right click on it and then flip vertically. And what this is going to allow me to do is just obviously flip it and then use it the other opposite side. What I could do is merge shapes together. I'm going to command T right click and let's warp this. And I'm going to try to add maybe some inflation. Yeah, I'm going to inflate it and just like move it down. That actually looks like a much better star. And we could do something like that if we wanted to and then resize it, scale it down. See, that looks kind of cool. So I'm going to merge these together, add a stroke. And then we're going to like allow this to get rounded again. I want to round this a lot. This looks way better. Convert that to a smart object. And then we could kind of just like drag this somewhere. I don't know yet. And then I'm going to add a line going through something like that. I want to add a line going through. We're getting kind of weird with this one. Maybe add a stroke on that line just a little bit. Hmm. Huh. Yes, yes, yes. Are you guys getting the point of this video? Like we're using graphical assets to build something, right? So you don't have to be super talented at drawing. Graphic design isn't always about illustration. Like you don't always have to know how to draw and illustrate something. It's totally fine if you don't have that skill set and 
you have to go look for things, that's fine. You're a graphic designer, right? So your job is to solve problems and come up with something a client likes. As long as you're doing it legitimately, that's all that matters. Creating something is never a bad thing. Never feel bad about that. That's all I'm trying to say. So anyway, and I'm trying not to use my own design assets, by the way, so this is challenging. I really like this one. I'm gonna download this one, but I also saw another one that I really like, and it's this right here, believe it or not. I like that it's cut off on purpose. To me, that just makes everything look so much cooler. Let's do the globe. I think the globe's gonna fit better right here, actually. As much as I want that other one to work, I don't think it's gonna work. And then I'm gonna add a stroke around it to thicken it up on purpose. Let's go three with that. Not too crazy, obviously. Now what I wanna do is group everything, so I'm gonna grunge it up. So I'm gonna hold in shift, and then select the bottom one while holding in shift. So I'm going to the very top layer, holding in shift, and then selecting the very bottom design layer and grouping those together. So command or control G, to group. I'm going to go to another website called Texture Fabric and many of you probably heard of this, but there I'm sure there's some people out there that have not heard of it, but this is a great website. So what I want to do is find some sort of texture that I can use on here. I really like this one. So what I want to do is copy this. We're going to go back to Photoshop. I'm going to go up to File New and then I'm going to click Create and I'm going to do Command V and paste this in place. And then we're going to save this as a PSD. So I'm just going to name this Texture 1. We're going to use this as a displacement map. So I'm going to Save this as texture one. That's good for now. Now what I wanna do is copy the entire artboard together. And um, in order to do that, I'm just going to select each layer and then I'm gonna press uh, shift command option E and that's going to duplicate it with the background. If you don't know how to do that, you can also press command or control A on your keyboard, select the entire artboard, go up to edit, copy merged, and then paste in place by pasting special. And that's it. Now what I wanna do is go up to filter. We're gonna go to Distort, and we're gonna go to Ripple. And I'm gonna add a little bit of a ripple effect to this. So let's go here, slightly ripple it. That'll give it some rough texture on the edges. Now let's go up to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and we're gonna add a bunch of noise to this. So we're gonna keep going up until we kind of are happy with it. I think about 94 is fine. Now let's go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, Gaussian Blur, however you wanna say that and we're gonna give it a nice blur. And I think it's Command or Alt, by the way. I'm so sorry, I think I'm saying the PC shortcut's wrong. I apologize for that. But I'm gonna press Command or Alt L on my keyboard, and that's gonna pop up these levels. And now I can just uh, basically move these tones over from the left to the right. So I'm taking the darks on the left and bringing them over to the light side. And then on the light side, which is the highlights, I'm bringing those over as well. So I'm just gonna keep doing this over and over again. I'm gonna press OK. Go back up to uh, Gaussian Blur, blur that again. And again, you can press Command or Alt on your keyboard, L, to bring levels up and do the same exact thing. The only thing is the planet on the, the bottom is like getting cut off a little bit, so we gotta be careful about that. Now what I wanna do is go up to Filter, Distort, Displace, and uh, bring this menu up. I'm gonna do about 1010 on the, the horizontal and vertical scale. Stretch to fit fine and wrap around. I'll probably do wrap around press OK, and now we need to select that texture that I just saved. I'm gonna repeat the process because that wasn't enough. I'm gonna go 2020 on the scale, and then I'm gonna go stretch to fit, OK, and then select that same texture. That's much better. I'm gonna delete the white background real quick, so in order to do that, I'm just gonna go up to select, color range, select the white background, press OK. While selecting my design layer, which is layer two, I'm just gonna backspace or delete and it's gonna get rid of the background. Now I can toggle on my actual background, which is on the lighter color shirts, and now I have just the black ink by itself, and now we could take this texture, add a clipping mask to it, just like that. That looks pretty cool, actually, and just kind of drag it around, and I'm gonna play with the levels of this texture, bring out some more details. I love the way this looks so much, and then I can go up to select color range, and watch this, select color range, and delete the white. And as you can see, now we have the texture and everything on one layer. So that is beautiful. And now I can go here, take my lasso tool or something, select around my design that I wanna to try to recolor. Let's do this. I'm gonna hold in shift and select the bottom as well and this planet possibly, or not planet, but globe. And then we're gonna do command X to cut that, shift command V to paste that. And then from here I can change the color to let's say like red maybe. Or right, even this is really cool. Maybe a different color, because I always use the same colors in my videos. Maybe I'm gonna try something. I kind of like this burnt color. Let's, let's stick with this burnt color for now. So now I wanna copy everything. So Command or Alt A on your keyboard, Shift Command C to copy everything, copy merged, and then do Shift Command V to paste that in place. And then again, use my transform options on the very top, and we can kind of drag this in place. And then just kind of put that on the mock and see what it looks like. And if I wanted to, I can select just evolution 
check this out. You might like this, you might not, but let's do this. Copy that, bring that to the front maybe, and do that. Why not? Maybe take this globe. So we're utilizing like every part of this, right? Bring that over. Check this out. And then that can go like bottom right of the sleeve. See that? Now we have like some really cool stuff happening here. And let's change the color. Let's go, let's go different color on that. Like we can make it all the same color. And by doing that, we can add that to other things too. Like we can add that to the front of this design, have, an, have a version for that. You can do so many different things, see? Change the color, let's do maybe, white looks so damn good though, I'll be honest. See what we have going on here now? Like this is really cool. Maybe we decide to take evolution and that can go down the middle. In a relatively short amount of time, we were able to make a whole collection almost like, it's really fast and we were using a stock site. So, so that's the final design. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. That's all I ask. I love making these videos and I want to make sure you guys are liking them as well. So by leaving a comment, hitting the thumbs up button helps me like know if you guys like it or not. Yeah. I mean, go have fun guys. Go design some stuff right now. Don't let anything bother you. Just make sure you uh, let yourself be creative, right? Don't let anything stop you from being creative. That's all I can say. Don't worry about the little stuff. Don't stress it. Just focus on creating and you guys will learn so fast, okay? But hopefully this video helped you learn some new skills today. And if it did, again, I hope I earned a like and a subscribe from you guys. We have the first episode of 2022 for Merch Design Academy in the bag. Hope you guys liked it as much as I did. I'll catch you in the next one.